So one argument for what makes people more or less aggressive has been that people learn to be aggressive through modelling or observation, seeing violence and then acting it out. Rather than focusing on what people are doing, another argument focuses more on the thought processes behind why some people behave aggressively to others. The cognitive argument for aggression suggests that some people just think a particular way that leads them to be more aggressive. According to social cognitive explanations, people develop aggressive tendencies because of maladaptive thinking patterns. Now, if something horrible happens to us, it's natural for us to become negative and develop mistrust, like everyone's horrible, the world's a cold place and no one likes me. It's natural to occasionally think like that. However, it becomes a bit of a problem if these thoughts start to rigidify. If we apply these thoughts all the time and all the way through our life, maybe that's not so functional. The same things can happen to two different people, but they can have two totally different ways of interpreting those events. For example, when someone isn't invited to a party, one person would just think, well, maybe the person forgot to invite me. Maybe they just want to keep the party small. I'm sure there's a good reason. On the other hand, another person might have exactly the same thing happen to them, but think the complete opposite, such as, wow, that person's sending me a message. They obviously hate me. They're trying to humiliate me. So some people have dysfunctional and aggressive belief structures about the world. For them, neutral or even positive comments can sometimes be perceived as hostile because they see the world through the lens of mistrust. The goal of some therapies, like cognitive behavioural therapy, is to help people to identify these thoughts because we're not always aware of our automatic thoughts. The challenge is to get people to slow down and evaluate their thought patterns so that they can change their dysfunctional belief systems.